Hi, I'm Maddie from Echo Company and today I'm going to be talking to you about different fire lighting tools available on the Bushcraft Lab. So what I'll do now is I'll take each one and I'll practice five strikes on it and then if it lights in five strikes, brilliant, if it lights less, even better. So first off, we're going to be talking about Light My Fire which is amazing, loved by all bushcrafters and this one especially is made from recycled coconut shells which is even better for the environment and gives it a little bit of an edge. This one isn't as long as the other two which I'll be showing, but it's the same thickness as well. So it's good as a little pocket version, but won't be good in the long run. So I'll practice my five strikes on here and I honestly think this will be a little bit less. Oh, one, two, three, four strikes. And that was the Light my fire coconut shell, which I really thought was actually going to get five strikes. And next, we're talking about the Webtex fire lighting tool, which is really convenient because it can be used on either side, as opposed to other fire lighting techniques that can only be used on one. So this is good for right and left-handers. This one is a little bit longer than only just than the light my fire. Uh, fire lighting steel so it might last a little bit longer and Webtex is amazingly popular for different cadet forces and really popular in the military as well so again available on the bushcraft lab and I'll be doing my five strikes on this to test this one out as well start properly one two three four five oh six bad fire steel so that took a lot so I'm going to say this isn't my favourite and it wasn't very comfortable on my hands as if you can see the nice little marks there because the handle isn't very comfortable to use Next one I'll be talking about is the Schrade fire lighting tool and this one is a little bit different and I haven't seen many like it as it has this sort of rounded smooth edge which is really different but also much longer than the Webtex and the fire steel so this one looks like it'll be used in the long run and can be used for all sorts of things. One thing I don't really like about this is because it's so long the string doesn't quite give you a lot of access it does go all the way as you can see but I just don't like the restriction on it but we'll be testing that out in our five strikes again so with this Schrade a fire lighter obviously as I mentioned before it's a bit different around the sides and it's not really quite what I'm used to and if you try and light it in the normal way it becomes very difficult and also the string really really restricts you from how far you can actually go and how much pressure you can put on it so from a recent discovery, we found if you place it down here and you strike up and down, it lights a lot easier and then you don't have to stretch all the way down, you can stay in the middle and whack it up and down like that to create sparks. And this fire lighting tool we're using is the Pathfinder, which comes as a little compact set which you can use and it has a little pulley string as well. So the reason why it has this little area here is so you can store your tinder and things like that. So you could, if you wanted to, place a cotton wool ball in here with Vaseline or any other sort of tinder you can use in this little area here. And this one is a lot more thicker than this one. So that means it can be used for a really long time. It feels really quite secure in there. That's not going to come out anytime soon. And it's also a luminous colour, so you won't be losing it if you just pop it in your Bergen or in your bag like this, your family micro-adventure bag. You'll be easy to find it, and it is quite good storage to pop in there. And also you can adjust this as well, so when you open it, you've got a lot more length in there. You could also put it on the end of your bag and tag it along so it's, again, easier to find. 
So this one is the Pathfinder with the Tinder storage as well. So let's give this a go and see how many strikes we can get on this. Three, four, awesome. So the first two didn't actually set a strike, but it took three strikes with a spark to actually get that. And now it's lighting another little bit as well. But yeah, you have to start from the back and push your way down rather than starting here. Really need to get all that force in. But it is quite thick, so it will last you a long time. And the last one we're talking about is very, very similar to the Pathfinder, as it also has a Tinder container at the top here, which does have a small amount of cotton wool in there already. It's a lot smaller than the Pathfinder container, but if it's just a quick thing that you need, then you can pop it in there. If you're out on the trail and you see some Tinder, you can pop it in there. And this one has the same sort of idea with the connecting on here. And it's a lot smaller, more cylindrical. And obviously this is Bear Grylls Gerber, a very popular brand. So we'll be testing this out and see how well it works against the other fire steels. So the next one is the Gerber, which also has a little tinder pouch in this lid here, which I showed you earlier. And this one is the same sort of concept and the same striking pattern as if you start from the back and not from here. So let's give this a go. One. So two. So this actually took the quickest amount of strikes to light. But you have to really start from the back and put a lot of pressure on to get a decent strike. As if you start from here, it's not as powerful as it is if you start from the back. So after looking at the fire seals and testing them out, getting the feel for them, I think I probably got my favourite and my least favourite for sure. But the first one, which I knew I was going to love, it was my absolute favourite, is the coconut light my fire. As I said, I've always loved light my fire. It's really popular. It's very comfortable. It's got your thumb holding, so it's so easy to use. The string's not too restrictive, and you can use it either side. And it's just so easy to use. And it's quite small, so it'll be good as a pocket sort of holder. And again, it's just so easy. And it's also got a whistle in case you ever need that as well. But for efficiency and my personal favourite, not everyone's, but certainly for me, I think this is definitely my favourite one. And then moving on, I'd love to love Gerber. And I do sometimes, but this did present its problems. As you need to really go far back and it's just not something that I've used before personally. Um, but I do think it's extremely useful in the fact that it's quite thick. It has got a tinder holder, not a necessarily large one, but for me on a daily day basis, if I see just a bit of tinder on a bushcraft workshop when I usually use cotton wool anyway, it is nice I could have somewhere to put it in. So if I did take this out on an expedition, I would have tinder in there anyway, which is nice. And it was a really, really powerful strike to use and really quick and efficient. Schrade, I uh, had a little bit of discrepancies about it as it's a weird shape that I've never used before, I've never even seen before and it is quite restrictive but after finding a new technique of scraping in the middle forwards and backwards quite quickly it was really really effective um, so I think you come to a sort of a different way of thinking, a different way of using it then I could learn to love this. Pathfinder um, i say it's not one of my favourites. It is really useful and I'm sure some other people must love this but for me personally it's just not the greatest tool I've used. I had a lot of problems trying to get it to light in the first place. The tinder storage however is so much better than the Gerber as you can fit a lot more in there but for me it's a no. Sorry Pathfinder but I do love the thickness you have on this. And also Webtex for me this handle is just so uncomfortable, it left marks on my hand. I wouldn't use it in the field, it's just not efficient for me. And if I was going to use something like this, which is very similar to Light My Fire, I would just spend the extra money and get the Light My Fire, just for the comfort and the ease. And it was quite hard to get lighting, and the striker just wasn't particularly up to scratch. So that is certainly not my favourite. So obviously you've only got my opinions on these products, but if you want to find out the product specifications and any other minor details, 
head over to the Bushcraft Lab website and you can find out all the details and all of the other information on their website. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you take into consideration these tips and advice when you're buying your next fire seal. See you soon. Bye bye.